Welcome to Thought for April the 11th. Our readings are Numbers 29 and 30, Proverbs 21, and John chapters 2 and 3. Our thought is, unless one is born again. Nicodemus was the teacher in Israel. What an impact Jesus was now having among the people. Obviously, Nicodemus was so affected that he felt compelled to talk with Jesus, but he comes by night. He declares, No one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. John 3 verse 3 A fascinating conversation follows. John is to mention him twice again. First, when he is questioning the Pharisees about Jesus in chapter 7 verse 50, and then remarkably, when he associates with Joseph of Arimathea in binding the body of Jesus and placing it in the tomb, chapter 19, verse 39. God's inspired word intrigues us so many times. The more we read, the more we want to read and pull together as much as we can the hidden stories that are always fresh insights to be gained. Jesus challenges Nicodemus. Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. See can be understood in the present tense. A person's eyes are open when they are born again. When is this rebirth? How can a man be born when he is old? asked Nicodemus. It is a challenge to understand what Jesus means. When he answers, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he or she cannot enter the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. That which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Chapter 3, verses 5 and 6. One is born of water by baptism. And both John the Baptist and Jesus' disciples are now baptizing many, as we read in chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. But baptism is of no value unless there is also a rebirth of the person's spirit, a new way of thinking and outlook on life. Baptism, Peter was later to write, is an appeal to God for a good conscience. 1 Peter 3 verse 21 So we understand that baptism in water is of no value on its own. But, says Jesus, this rebirth of the spirit is like the wind. It is only seen by the effect it has on a person's life. The wind cannot be seen. Only its effects can be seen. The last verse in John chapter 3 tells us, Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. That is, their names are in the book of life. Yet those who falter after their spiritual rebirth are in danger of having their names blotted out of the book of life. Revelation 3 verse 5. Judas Iscariot is a glaring example. Returning to John 3, we note that Jesus says that being born again creates for us a relationship with the light of the world. And whoever does what is true comes to the light, so that it may be clearly seen that his or her deeds have been carried out in God. Verse 21. Let us make sure that that is true of every one of us. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that that Word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.